So we're going to use that in our personal organizer. And then finally, what we're going to do to just sort of make it all a little bit easier to keep track of in some cases is use some of the numbering features in my manager to, to help us. So we can use priority icons. So for example, if I had three tasks in here, I can just assign a, a little icon just using my manager uh, to a priority one or two or three. And again, if I decided to change the order of that, I can just say I want to change that to a one. I can right click and say I want to change that to a two. Or I can just actually click the icon itself in my manager and it's going to cycle through one, two, three, four, five. Now, this is a really nice way of making nice visual um, priorities. But if the topics and things are likely to move around a lot, so if this is likely to move around or, or these things, having to do that right clicking or even just cycle through, it's a bit more work than it needs to be. So if things are not going to move too often, I would suggest using the icons. But if you think things are likely to be moved up and down quite a bit in terms of your reprioritizing, I'd suggest using the auto numbering feature in MyManager because it'll do the work for you. It's not going to be quite so visual like those red icons, but it's just going to keep things nice and clear. So if I move email Julie to the bottom of the pile, you see MyManager is just renumbered here. And to do that, all I'm doing is using insert and you see it's highlighted here already numbering. So if I reapply that now, You'll see it just numbers and that's just really useful if things are going to move around a lot you'll see it's just going to renumber however i move things and that just is a very useful way of keeping track of, of kind of priorities that are, are sort of fast moving or items that are fast moving